Hello. Today we'll be looking at, at a variation of the ideal gas law. The original gas law says PV equals NRT, which includes moles. This variation breaks down moles into molar mass and mass. So we have pressure times volume in liters and M for molar mass, big M, capital M, equals small m for mass, either, either given or to search for in grams, R, which is a constant value, depends on pressure, and temperature in kelvins. So PVM equals MRT. In this case, in this case, like I said just now, capital M is molar mass, and lowercase m is the mass in grams, either given or to look for. Let's look at a sample question. The pressure of N2, that's nitrogen gas, is 1.91 atm with a volume of 15.36 liters and a temperature of 425 kelvins. What is the mass, that would be small m, in grams of the substance? Okay, so let's look at over here. This big N, capital N, is from molar mass. It's twice N. This is, of course, the pressure is in ATMs. And if my pressure is in ATMs, that is what tells me what value to use for the R. My, lead, my volume is in liters already, no need to change anything. And my temperature is already in kelvins, nothing to change. So let's make a list of what we have. Pressure, volume, temperature, molar mass, and R. I am looking for the small m, small m I'm searching for. Therefore, if I have this straight equation, PVM equals MRT, I will move down the R, leave it at the bottom, and move down the T, leave it at the bottom, leaving small m alone. And this is how it looks like. I move the m, the R to the bottom, and the T to the bottom, leaving M alone. So for small m, plug in the values, and it says 1.91 atm times 15.36 times 28 divided by 810821 times 425. Again, I'm searching for small m. Once I plug in these values, my answer is 23.54 grams. Therefore, when solving for any of these variables, the only thing you have to do to isolate that variable is move the other variables to the bottom so that the only variable left on top is the one, is the one you're searching for, in this case, small m, PVM, capital M, divided by RT, gives me 23.54 grams. This is solving for the mass in the PVM equals MRT equation of the ideal gas law, we're going to call this law number two. I hope this helps you.